Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators EMA, Divergence, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Ethereum hourly time frame, the price dipped down with around 5.9% but then came quickly up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 339. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went above the hourly ribbon, so you should watch out for the price dipping back below the ribbon or if it will play as a support to the downside, which is currently at around 337. Searching for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bullish divergence and the price already went up. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are currently very high, which means that the price is overbought and a trend change or at least consolidation for some time is to be expected. Despite this, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so patience should be exercised until you see if the trend will in fact go down. Looking at the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, we can see that the price is situated in the three hourly ribbon, so it is yet to be seen if the price can break the resistance currently at around 353. The ribbon is relatively spread out so the resistance should be considered. Searching for divergence in the three hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Moving to the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, the current price went below the daily ribbon, so you should wait to see if the price will jump back above the ribbon or it will act as a resistance to the upside which is at around 362 at the moment. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Moving to the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently indecisive so consolidation for some time or shifting the momentum could be expected and it is to wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.